everyone, this is me Abriti from How to Electronics. This is a tutorial and review video about ZT5 1163 fingerprint sensor. There are many fingerprint sensors available in the market and we used R305 or R307 optical fingerprint sensor in some earlier videos. But the ZT5 1163 is a more advanced fingerprint sensor with high accuracy and faster response time. Instead of optical method, it uses a camera image processing method to detect the fingerprints. In this video, we will go through the details and specifications of GT5 11C3 fingerprint sensor. We will also learn how to use the official software development kit of this fingerprint sensor to register, test and delete fingerprints. Apart from this, we will interface the fingerprint sensor with Arduino and then learn the method to enroll and test fingerprints. So without getting any delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCVs like this one that looks so good? Then use the service of Next PCV. You can select the board size, any soldier mask color that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCV could be from 2 up to 20 layer for more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy, just go to the nextpcv.com, then cut now. Insert your design settings, upload your Gorver files, and order now, and then receive the PCV in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Now let's just understand the zt 5 fingerprint sensor module and how it works. This sensor is very different from the capacitive and ultrasonic fingerprint sensor that is commonly used in our smartphones. The zt 5 c 3 is an optical fingerprint sensor, meaning it relies on image of your fingerprint to recognize its pattern. The sensor actually has a camera inside it which takes pictures of your fingerprint and then processes this image using a powerful inbuilt ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. The sensor has a camera under a black spot surrounded by blue LED. This LED have to be lit up to take a clear image of the fingerprint. These images are then processed and converted into binary values by using the ARM microcontroller coupled with EEPROM. The sensor can enroll up to 200 fingerprints and this sensor can operate from 3.3 volt to 6 volt and communicates with UART serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. When operating at 3.3 volt, the sensor consumes about 130 milliampere. The sensor has four wires as red, black, green, and white color. The red is VCC, black is ground, white is TX, and green is RX. Let's test the sensor with FTDI module and SDK software. Here is the UART connection with USB to TTL converter module. Connect the red wire to VCC, black to ground, green to TX, and white to RX. You can use a default connector for connecting the fingerprint sensor with FTDI module. Here a green LED on ZT511C3 indicates the power. Download the SDK demo software from our website link and then open it. On the top right side, select the serial port number. In my case, the port is COM3. You can check your port number from device manager. The default port rate is 9600, so keep it as 9600. Now click on open. So in the result part, it will display the firmware version and device serial number. And there are so many options like enroll, verify, identify, get an image, delete, get a database, etc. You can try all the options one by one. It's like a single click option. The most important option is deleting the fingerprint which can be done by simply clicking on delete all option. Let's see how we can interface the fingerprint sensor with Arduino. So here is a simple schematic for the project. We have used 2K and 1K resistors for the voltage divider network as the sensor UART pins are 3.3 volt tolerant. Connect the USB cable to Arduino Nano and your PC. After this, the blue LED on the sensor will light up. Moving to the software part, we can use a library written by SparkFun. This repository contains Arduino example code to work with ZT511C3. This code has been tested with other types of fingerprint sensor as well. You can download this library from here and add it to the Arduino IDE. Open Arduino examples. There is a pre-written code for enrolling the fingerprint. And the example code also contains a fingerprint identification code. You can upload this code and test them. After uploading codes, open the serial monitor and you will be asked to place a finger and register or scan the finger. 
you can register on your finger or ask someone to register and scan now let's just add an lcd display to see how we can observe the serial monitor data on lcd display this is the schematic for the project we have used a push button here connected to the digital pin when it's pressed the sensor will go into enrolling mode a 16 by 2 character lcd is attached which is programmed for displaying all the happening when interacting with a fingerprint sensor i used a breadboard for assembly this is Arduino Nano board with an 80 mega 328 microcontroller and this is a push button for mode chains. Then a 16x2 LCD display for displaying everything. 2K and 1K resistor for voltage divided network and a 2K resistor for adjusting LCD contrast. This is the fingerprint sensor that will be used for scanning fingers. On the coding part, we have combined the fingerprint enroll and verify code together. We also added the LCD display library and modified the code as per LCD requirements. Upload this code for the project. After uploading is done, the LCD will display the message to put your finger and also the blue LED will light up in the fingerprint module. Now to register your finger, press the push button. Then scan your finger three times. The fingerprint will be enrolled. To verify this, place the same finger on the fingerprint module. So this is how you can enroll and read the fingerprint data. I hope this tutorial has covered the idea of CT511C3 fingerprint scanner module. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.